Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Style. Uh, today I have a new project that I want to share with you guys. I have this pair of Allen Edmonds Weightbridge that I got from eBay. And these are actually not in very bad shape at all. I could honestly just put a nice polish on these and wear them as they are. But you know me, we need to try things and experiment. So we're going to do something with these. Let's go. <laughs> So these are the uh, Allen Edmonds Chili Color. Uh, I do want to stay in the red tones, uh, but I do want to get them a lot redder. Um, and I also want to attempt a museum patina um, to see if I have any luck with that. But first things first, we have to strip them down. Also, don't forget to disinfect. Uh, remember, any household disinfectant would do. Um, and I also like to use some baking soda to absorb any of that humidity and any lingering odors in the shoe. All right, so I'm gonna keep working on stripping these down and then I'll come back. All right, so here they are, completely stripped. Um, I probably could have gone a little bit lighter, but I think this should suffice. So as I mentioned, I wanna do these in the red tone range. Um, as you can see, oxblood and red are very similar. Uh, so I think I'm gonna stick with red and then I will do the accent tones in burgundy and mahogany.
Okay, so we're done with the dye portion. I think it came out pretty good. Um, we'll see the end result. Um, you know, I'm, I'm new to doing museum patinas, so it's a little challenging for me, but I think with practice, it'll get better. Um, but let's continue with the shining process and see the end result. And I think that they're gonna look pretty great. Um, okay, remember you always have to reintroduce uh, hydration because the acetones and the, the alcohol-based dyes they really dry up the leather, so you really have to get uh, this stuff in there. And I usually like to get it uh, on with a brush, um, just so I can get in the welt really good. And then I can use the, the rag to do the rest of it. Make sure you always use a rag because um, you're gonna start seeing some of those dyes that didn't get absorbed by the leather come off um, and you don't wanna get that all over your fingers. Let's let them sit for a little while, let them absorb uh, all those moisturizers, um, and then we'll buff them off. Okay, so I was able to get a really nice shine with just the one coat of wax. Um, and I have to say they're looking really, really nice. Um, I think that I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna do the mirror shine 
off camera uh, to save a little bit of time on this video. I don't want it to get too long. And then I'll post the, uh, the pictures at the end of the video. So um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is as much as a learning experience for me as it is uh, for you guys watching this. Um, so it's not perfect, but I think they're looking really nice. Um, so I'll go ahead and get the mirror shine on and I'll post the pictures after this. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.